Hey cryptocurrency market, it's Denny Lovejoy, your favorite blockchain tutorial Jedi Master. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to download the NEM wallet. I'm going to show you how to download and install it. So let's jump right into it. The first step here is to find the correct domain name. And we're going to have to go to coinmarketcap.com to do so. So what I'm going to do is scroll down until I find NEM on this list which is right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And the next step is to click on this website right here, which takes us to nem.io. It is a HTTPS website. It is a secure connection. You could tell by this green padlock right here. The other thing we're gonna do is check out their Twitter profile. So I'll show you that too. We'll go back to CoinMarketCap here and click on the social button under nem and it refreshes and it shows us their Twitter profile, which is at NEM official. I'll go ahead and click that. What we're gonna check out are their followers. They have 214,000 followers and the link that they're promoting is NEM.io. So I'll go ahead and click that and it takes us back to the same website. Great, let's move on to step number two here, which is to choose the correct wallet. And I'll show you what that looks like. What we're gonna do is click on the top right here where it says get started and I'm going to scroll down and it says it right here. Download and install the NEM wallet. So it's saying that the download button is right here. I'm gonna go ahead and click that and it takes us to nem.io slash downloads. If I scroll down, it'll take us to their desktop client so this is primarily a desktop client wallet and they call it Nano Wallet. They do have Trezor support and it's for Windows, Mac, and Linux. And you can check out the source code right here. In this video, I'm going to be choosing a Mac version to download. However, you could choose Windows or Linux and you could still follow along with me in the video. So let's go ahead and do step number three here, which is to download the wallet and all you have to do is click this button right here. And what happens is on the bottom left here, it says that it's downloading and it's gonna take about two minutes to do. So go ahead and wait for that to download and I'll do the same thing. Okay, great. It looks like it just downloaded right now. So we're gonna move on to step number four, which is to install the Nano Wallet. And all you have to do is click this download button right here and it starts installing. It automatically goes to my downloads, then goes to my Nano Wallet, and then it brings up this Nano Wallet option right here, which is the wallet. And what I'm going to do is instead of double clicking it, I'm going to right click it and then click open. And it's starting to open up right here, so that's good. It says here, are you sure you wanna open it? I'm gonna say yes. And I'm gonna wait for that to load up. So voila, here it is, the Nano Wallet. So at this point in the video, there's a couple things we could do, but the first one is that you could sign up here on the top right, and it says new to NEM, select the type of wallet to create, the simple wallet or a private key wallet. So what you're gonna do is choose the simple wallet option, and it says please follow each step carefully. It is recommended that you disconnect from the internet while creating a wallet and backing it up. So it does want me to disconnect from the internet right now, which I can go ahead and do. And once I do that, I could go ahead and click ready. And it's saying choose a network. I'll go ahead and stick with the main net and click next. And I could put wallet name. I could put Denny Lovejoy, for example, and click next. As far as passwords go on our team, we use keypass.info, which looks like this and is recommended for Windows users. And we also have dashlane.com, which is also free and open source, which we recommend on the team also. So this one is good for Mac users or just in general. So go ahead and make sure you have a password manager so you could get a very strong password from here and then you're going to copy and paste that address and enter it into here. So I'm not gonna show you my password manager, but I will generate 
the password from there and paste it into here. And then what I'm gonna do is click next. It says you are going to generate your primary private key. Please click on start and move your cursor around to add more entropy. So I'll click start and I'm just gonna move my cursor around like it says and you see it moving up and up as it goes. And it's generating something random and I'm gonna click next. It says here, wallets are stored temporarily in the browser local storage. Browsers can be configured to clear the local storage at times. This will lead to the loss of the data and which can't be undone easily. In such a case, your wallets will be gone. So it is very important to make sure you have all needed information to restore your accounts. Understood. I'll click that button. And what it's asking me to do now is download these files, the .wlt file. So I'll go ahead and click download for that. And it saves it as this. So I'll click save. And it saves that in my downloads. I'm also gonna save this raw file right here. It's really saying that I just have to download this wallet. And as long as I have that wallet, I could click, I have my wallet file, which I will do. And now it's going to say to back up my private key. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this and save it into my password manager. And this private key is something you do not want to share with anyone and something you want to keep very secure and private. So make sure you do that. It says it right here. Never share it with anyone. That's very important. And it's mandatory that you do back up this account by storing this information. So once you do that, go ahead and click I have my private key and password. And it says right here, it is your responsibility to always make sure you have your private key backed up before sending any funds to your account. By clicking below, you agree that you have your private key, password and wallet file backed up. And I do because it took me through those steps. And I'll go ahead and click I agree. And it says, congratulations, your NEM address is this, which I could save. That's technically a public address. And what I could do is log in. And what I could do now is select wallet and it automatically stores my Denny Lovejoy mainnet account right there. And all I would have to put is my wallet password now. Now it's asking me for the password from my password manager. So I'll go ahead and paste that into here and then click sign in. And voila, this is the Nano Wallet. This is what the dashboard looks like. There's nothing inside the account. However, if we look on the top here, you could send a transaction by putting an address into here, the amount, a message. You could choose the type, encrypted, unencrypted, the fee is here. You put the password and then click send to send a transaction. If I go back to dashboard here and if I click on account on the top right, that's where I get my public address, which is right here. And all I would have to do is click this button to copy it to the clipboard. And that's the address I send to others who want to send me NEM. And if we look on the bottom right here, there's the backup wallet option. So it's very important that you back up your wallet regularly. If we look on the top here, there's services. So these are a bunch of services that this Nano Wallet offers. Multi-signature and multi-user accounts, namespaces and subdomains, delegated harvesting, apostle, mosaics, and instant exchanges using Changely and Shapeshift. So go ahead and explore that on your own time. They also have address book, voting, invoice, signed message, and DNS, which is decentralized domain name system. Go ahead and explore all that on your own time. On the top here, we also have the explorer for the home, for transactions, accounts, namespaces, and mosaics, and apostles. And there's also a help button right here of frequently asked questions. So if you have any questions, go to this tab right here. You could also choose a language 
and these are the languages that they have available. And yeah, if I go back to Nano Wallet here on the left, there's these black icons right here, which say send and receive NEM easily and almost instantly, only one minute block time. The second one says multi-sig accounts are edible on-chain contracts, the most powerful way to secure funds, enable joint accounts, and are the foundation of DAOs, which are decentralized autonomous organizations. They also have namespaces, are domains, they have the NEM mosaics, they have delegated harvesting, the NEM apostyle service, assign labels to addresses, and exchange using Changely and Shapeshift. So there you go. Congratulations, you successfully downloaded and installed the NEM wallet. And I also showed you around a little bit to show you what all the buttons do. In this video, I just wanted to show you how to download and install it. In my follow-up videos for NEM, I'm gonna show you how to receive it, send it, back up the wallet, protect your private keys for NEM, and even update the wallet. So stay tuned for that. So the last step I wanted to show you is to verify that you can close and open the wallet. And I'll show you that really quick. On the Nano wallet, on the top right where it says my name, I'll go ahead and click that button and it says successfully logged out. Another thing I could do and show you is I'm going to drag my screen and I'll click the Nano wallet so that it shows up the name here and then click quit Nano wallet. And the way to reopen it is to go back to my finder, my downloads, my Nano Wallet folder, where it keeps my Nano Wallet, right click on it, click open, and here it is uploaded one more time. What I'm going to do is on the top here, click login, and I'll select my name right here, which it stores for me. And what I'm going to do is put in the password from my password manager and click enter and sign in. And voila, this is the Nano Wallet live and running one more time. So great, we did step number five here, which is to verify that you could close and open the wallet. So congratulations, you successfully downloaded and installed the Nem Wallet. In this video, I just wanted to show you how to download and install it and show you around a little bit to show you what all the buttons do on the user interface. In my follow-up videos for NEM, I'm going to show you how to send it, receive it, back up the wallet, protect your private keys, and even update the wallet. But for now, that concludes this video. If you enjoy watching my blockchain tutorials like this, get the cryptocurrency investing blueprint. You could learn more at cryptocurrency.market slash blueprint. And you could also get 10% off using my promo code Denny2018. Go ahead and check out the display address here on the screen or check out the link below. You could also follow our cryptocurrency market team on Twitter. You could find my handle at Denny Lovejoy. And you could find my crypto mentors, Taizen and LeonFu.com at Hey Taizen and Leon C. Fu. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please send them to me on Twitter or leave me a comment below. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Thanks again, have a terrific day, and I'll see you on the next blockchain tutorial.